Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionalist, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, we'll continue our biochemistry playlist. Please watch these videos in order. Let's talk about beriberi or vitamin B1 deficiency. It all started in the 19th century when Dr. Takaki Kanehiro discovered that sailors who ate only white rice developed some symptoms, but sailors who had a balanced diet did not develop the symptoms. And when he digged deeper, he discovered the symptoms of thiamine deficiency, also known as vitamin B1 deficiency, which happens to you if you only eat white rice, because as you know, white rice is deficient in thiamine. And thanks to Dr. Takaki, we call beriberi kake. Kake is the same thing as beriberi. Something that 99% of your professors simply do not know. Vitamins are called vitamins because we thought that they were vital amines, but they are not. They are organic molecules, micronutrients, and they are essential, which means your body cannot make them. Therefore, you have to eat them in your diet. We divide them into water-soluble and fat-soluble. Vitamin B1 is here. It's a water-soluble vitamin. Therefore, deficiency is more likely. Vitamin B complex include eight individuals, and by the way, B looks like an eight, and here is the names. The most common cause of vitamin B1 deficiency worldwide is eating white refined rice that's not fortified or enriched with vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 deficiency is a cofactor for transketolase. That's why you can measure the vitamin B1 level by measuring the RBC transketolase activity. If you have vitamin B1 deficiency, bad things can happen, include Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, thiamine metabolism dysfunction syndromes, which include two, and beriberi, which can be divided into infantile and adult. Adult is divided into wet, dry, and gastrointestinal. Beriberi, infantile or adult. The adult, wet, dry, or gastrointestinal. Wet include CHF and edema. Dry is neuropathy. Gastrointestinal is lactic acidosis, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, etc. And including abdominal cramping. We have talked about infantile beriberi in a previous video, but in brief, two to three months old, when the baby is breastfed, if mommy is thiamine deficient, or if the formula does not contain thiamine, as you know. Symptoms include cardiomegaly, the big heart, tachycardia, cyanosis, vomiting, high-pitched cry, nystagmus, and seizure shaking treatment. The baby has no thiamine. Give the baby thiamine. And I've talked about this sad story in my previous video about infantile beriberi in this biochemistry playlist. Infantile beriberi, high-pitched cry, vomiting, cardiomegaly, tachycardia, nystagmus, seizure, cyanosis, and edema. Thiamine deficiency is one of the causes of a reversible intellectual disability. Causes of thiamine deficiency are numerous, including alcoholism and malnutrition. Please do not forget these two. Folate deficiency can lead to thiamine deficiency. Here is an example of a vitamin deficiency leading to another vitamin deficiency. Other causes of beriberi, these are controversial. I'll leave you to read them. We are done with infantile. Let's talk about adult beriberi. Adult beriberi, dry and wet and gastrointestinal, dry, peripheral neuropathy, it's symmetrical, it's distal, it's sensory and motor, wet, cardiomyopathy, specifically dilated cardiomyopathy and cardiomegaly, CHF will lead to edema that's spitting bilateral and it's a transudate, not an exudate, increased heart rate called tachycardia, neuropathy can happen with the, with the wet subtype as well. Let's get more sophisticated. Adult beriberi, dry and wet. Dry, neuropathy, why? Due to demyelination. The neuropathy is symmetrical, distal, sensory, and motor. When it's distal, it's hard. Stand up from a squatting position. The sensory includes sensory loss, pain, and suffering. I'm sorry. As well as sensory ataxia. The motor is weakness. There is decreased reflexes. Of course, it's symmetrical. If you have nerve problem, you'll have muscle problem. This is symmetrical muscle wasting. You can also get nystagmus and vomiting and look at this loss of myelin called demyelination. Let's talk about the wet subtype. Usually starts three months after being thiamine deficient. Cardiomyopathy, specifically dilated cardiomyopathy and cardiomegaly. The cardiac muscle basically lacks ATP. Why? Because your pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme is not working. 
also your alpha keto glutarate dehydrogenase is not working etc 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 there is biventricular failure leading to chf which is congestive heart failure you will have congestion which will lead to edema dependent bilateral pitting edema which is a transudate this will happen due to right-sided heart failure but since we establish it's a biventricular failure also the left side will fail when the left side fails you get lung problems dyspnea pnd which is paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea and cardiogenic pulmonary edema you will hear crackles on auscultation of the chest there is increased heart rate high output cardiac failure Everything is fast, everything is dilated, everything is distended, including your jugular vein. How do you diagnose very, very easy? You will see vitamin deficiency, literally increased lactic acid because of the problems in the pyruvate dehydrogenase. Now the pyruvate will be converted into lactate. Lactic acid will lead to lactic acidosis, which is a high anion gap metabolic acidosis. The anion gap is greater than 12. Also, there is decreased RBC transketolase activity because transketolase is dependent on vitamin B1 as a cofactor. Treatment, if the baby lacks thiamine, give the baby thiamine. Same thing with adults. Infantile, check. Wet, check dry check let's talk about gastrointestinal here's the plan pyruvate normally is converted into acetyl coa if you have the pyruvate dehydrogenase this pyruvate dehydrogenase requires vitamin b1 as a cofactor if you have vitamin b1 deficiency you will not have pyruvate dehydrogenase pyruvate cannot become acetyl coa pyruvate will go into the ugly path of lactic acid which will lead to lactic acidosis which will cause high anion gap metabolic acidosis which means that your pH is low, your bicarbonate is low, that's why it's a metabolic acidosis and your anion gap is high. As you know, the pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme requires five cofactors, including thiamine. Deficiency in any of these five cofactors can cause lactic acidosis. Here is gastrointestinal beriberi. The idea is that you are deficient in thiamine, therefore pyruvate dehydrogenase cannot work pyruvate will become lactate instead of acetyl-CoA, which will lead to lactic acidosis and hagma. Lactic acidosis will lead to cramping. That's why when you go to the gym, sometimes you feel muscle cramps. The cramps are the lactic freaking acid. Here the cramps are in the abdomen, so you get abdominal pain. The vagus nerve gets stimulated. This is not Las Vegas. This is the 10th cranial nerve. Get your head out of your sphincter, which will lead to nausea and vomiting. Here are some causes of edema of nutritional origin. These are the causes of high output cardiac failure, also known as hyperdynamic circulation. Remember that everything is fast, everything is dilated, everything is distended, including your jugular vein. Cardiac output is high, that's why we call it high output cardiac failure. Duh! Pulmonary capillary wedge pressure is low because the cardiac muscle itself is kind of okay. TPR or the total peripheral resistance is low because everything is dilated, everything is distended. You can hear a systolic flow murmur because it's a hyperdynamic circulation. Flow murmurs are never diastolic. For instance, in a pregnant mother, it's very common to hear a systolic flow murmur. But if you hear a diastolic murmur, that's not normal. Get your head out of your gluteal region. Different classifications. Here's the classification that I like. Some people say thiamine deficiency equals very, very period, and therefore they consider Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome as a subtype of beriberi. And here's the terrible mnemonic that some students use horrible stuff. If you want better mnemonics, check out Picmonic. It's an audio visual platform that has great medical mnemonics. It's just amazing. They are not a sponsor of this video, although they should be. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button to literally join the tribe. Please follow me on all of these platforms. You can support this channel on Patreon or PayPal. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. Don't forget to get my antibiotics course. Thank you for watching. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.